Alright, Shalom. Once again, want to give all praises and all glories unto Yahweh Basham Yashai Basham Haraka Kadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles of great mercy, and I surely do well. Saltation to all Yaki and push this without the insincerity and truth. Right, these are, um, this is Brother Lamar, right? Again, from JMS Trinidad. Want to do a, um, a little video here, right? You know, the 2018, the year prophecy, the, um, and that is what we out here to do. We out here to prophesy, right? The title of this video is um, GMS Doctrine is the Doctrine of Prophecy. Alright? I'll start with um, Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 1. Right? As it says, Behold, speak thou in the years of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. Alright? And prophecy or to prophesy means to say before all right now we the men are great millstone all right the hebrew israelites the children of abraham isaac and jacob to the confusion of faces show the four corners of the earth you know we we teach many things we teach the the laws the statutes and commandments the righteousness of the most high we go into um you know breakdowns of certain things all right but our main our main duty is basically to to prophesy all right because where where as Nate right was speaking concerning the brothers in Suriname they they um, they don't condemn people, they don't do this, they don't do that, right? But um, they teach you commandments. Part of your commandment is to prophesy. And need need don't go into prophecies. You know, the scriptures say in um first Corinthians chapter let's see fourteen verse one. Yeah. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 1 it says follow after charity right which is brotherly love and desire spiritual gifts but rather that ye may prophesy all right because you see when you prophesy you edify the people you, you build them up right and that is what we do this is how you also you warn the people of the destruction to come you warn the people right of or the children of Israel of the dangers that are at hand, right? Like the days of Jacob's trouble, right? Because um, there are some dark days ahead, right? Ecclesiastes chapter 24, verse 33 and verse 34. It says, I will yet pour out doctrine as prophecy and leave it to all ages forever, right? So, yeah, our doctrine is the doctrine of prophecy, right? Because, why? The scriptures said, right, in the book of Joel, chapter 2, and verse 28, right, it says, in the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 28, it says, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. Alright, and that, that is a prophecy that being fulfilled up to this day. Because hey, I I go there on the highways and byways and my brothers. We have dreams, we have visions, our wives have dreams, have visions, some friends. And you actually see the dream which the dream come into pass. Right? Because hey, like for instance, Trinidad getting a lot of floods now these days. Like something that my my wife does be dreaming, right? True, all right. Our, our next brother he he dreamt it. I dreamt it a couple of times. Our camp leader dreamt it a couple of times. Shining that on the water. So who knows? And right about now, you know, um, for the brothers who don't live here in Trinidad who watching this video, um, you know, another brother in our camp was telling me he was hearing that they say that. Um, within two days, a month of rainfall fell within those two days. 
right? And um, people actually had to sleep in the roof. We we never heard of that before here in Trinidad. Flood waters reach as high as six feet. Not that taller than me because you know I'm, I I've noticed as one of the shortest person in the camp, right? Um, sometimes it, my brothers will mock and say um. You know, well, mommy mock make the little joke and say I is the shortest man in Israel, <laughs> right? And that that thing will draw me. And you know what? Our host said as creatures, creatures coming out. And you know that this flooding is also something I'll consider strategic, in the sense that where all those floods will destroy crops, will destroy infrastructure, people who don't, who probably had life savings to buy other things. Some of these people, their houses are destroyed, right? They have to buy brand new TV, brand new clothes, brand new fridge, um, whatever it is to sustain them, right? But you know what? This this goes back to Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 1, right? It says, For behold, the Lord, it says, Yahweh of hosts that take away from Jerusalem and from Judah the stay and staff, the whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water, all right? Because you know why they take away staff of bread. Some when 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 these things come and people have to spend the money on certain things instead of like help building back up the economy or whatever the case is. All right, you'll have job losses. You'll have these kind of things, right? People people who is farmers, right? Those those waters destroy the crop. Then then it had earthquake. But you know these people won't repent. Won't repent. Of of the evils that they doing, they ain't they they not they not um giving the Mosai Yahba Shami Ashai the reverence that he deserve, all right. Um. Revelation chapter sixteen, verse eight and nine, and the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given him unto him to scorch men with fire, and men were scorched with great heat. And blaspheme the name of power which had power over these plagues all right and and all these things that the most i doing right about now is plagues all right and they repented not to give him glory yeah because you know after they passed the homosexual law right the lord sent an earthquake and they, they went straight back to do this shit right they went straight back and i see the thing about two-thirds of the children of israel also they, they're very stiff-necked and they, they're a hard set of people Right, and the most high Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Haraka Kadash, he he went and destroy these people so long as they don't return, so long as they don't repent. All right, take heed, take heed. That is all the most high thing. So, so, um, why would he die? Oh, house of Israel, all right, um, start up with nine. This is Amos chapter four. And I'll start at verse 9. I have smitten you with blasting and mildew. When your gardens and your vineyards and your fig trees and your olive trees increase, the palm will not devour them. Yet have ye not returned unto me, said the Mosai. So the Mosai, Yahweh Hashem, is the one who say he's sending the plagues here. Shall there be evil in a city? And Yahweh Hashem, Yahushai, had not done it. Alright? Satan don't do these things. Satan don't do the power. Satan just the left hand of the Mosai. The Mosai send satan to do certain operations the same way how um the house shy or the angels or the right hand have certain operations all right it says i have sent among you the pestilence after the man of egypt your young men have i slain with the sword and have taken away your horses and i have made the stink of your camps to come up onto your nostrils right that is like dead bodies right and that is what we're going to see just now yet have you not returned unto me said yahweh bashem yahushai Right? That's why in the next um, precept in Jeremiah 5, and I believe it's around verse 12, somewhere around there, he said, In vain have I, have, have I smitten your children. Right? Verse 11, I have overthrown some of you as the most high power overthrew Solomon and Gomorrah, and ye were as a firebrand plucked out of the burning. Yet have ye not returned unto me, said Yahweh. Verse 12, Therefore thus will I do unto thee, o, o Israel, and because I will do this unto thee, Prepare to meet thy power, O Israel. Right? So the most I say, guess what? Prepare to meet me. Right? You Negroes, you Latinos and natives. Prepare to meet Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, the God of Israel. Right? 
And this is how the most high going to visit all here. Right? It says, Thou shalt be visited of your hour of host with thunder, and with earthquake, and great noise, with storm and tempest, and the flame of devouring fire. Right? So the day is going to come that the most high going to took it up a little bit. Meaning that it's no longer normal floodings and earthquakes and things all you're going to get. But the most high going to send um, some of you people into FEMA camps. You're going to send some of you people into um, um, famine. He, he have different things planned out for you people. Right? Like in the script precept here. Right? Jeremiah 15 and start at verse 1. It says, Then said Yahweh unto me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. Right? Because the most high is of a pure eyes than to behold the iniquity and the shits in it that, that some of these people out here doing. Right? The most high can't stand. Stand to look upon it. It's like me. I, as a person, I can't stand. I can't stand to see like dog shit or whatever the case is. I basically hate it. Alright? Right? So when 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 it is you can't stand seeing something, right? Like I, I hate to see homosexuals, whatever the case is too. I you don't want to see it. So you cast it out of your sight. And this is what the most I say he gonna undo. And it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, Whether shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus said Yahweh, such are for death to death, and such are for the sword to the sword, and such are for the famine to the famine, and such are to the captivity to the captivity. Which means the um in um the FEMA camps. So guess what? The most high is not like when a, a parent have a, 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 a argument or a discourse with a child and say, Hey, get out of my house. No. Most I say basically, hey, die. <laughs> you understand? Die. Let that spirit come up here and meet me. Alright? Verse 3, and I will appoint over them four kinds, said Yahweh. The sword to slay and the dogs to tear and the fowls of the heaven. And the beasts of the earth to devour and to destroy. Alright? So this is what's going to happen. Right? We are great millstone. We, we forewarn you of the things to come. Right? We warn you. We, we, we warn the flock of the Mosai. Right? Not like Nate. Who, who only for his own benefit. Preach the, the, the commandments. Like the scribes and Pharisees. That is why Yahweh I say. Hey, do what they say. But do not do what they do. Meaning what? Do not be hypocrites. Alright? This is Ezekiel 13 and verse 1, right? It says, Ezekiel chapter 13 verse 1, And the word of Yahweh came up unto me, saying, So the man prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own heart. Hear ye the word of Yahweh. Thus said the Lord power, woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the deserts. Ye have not gone up into the gaps, Neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of Yahweh. Alright, the day of Yahweh is a day of judgment. Alright, but what need? You you send out your men, you don't even go out there and preach anymore. Right? It says you have not gone into the gaps. What? The highways, the byways, the, the hedges. Right? Neither made up the hedge. Right? That hedge is, is a protection. Right? Like what they'll put wrong uh, um um a vineyard, right? They have made up the hedge of the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of Yahweh. So what they'll be they will be clothed on that and that on that the truth in the word that, that they'll be wise, right? The scriptures say that um the prudent man foresee the evil and hide it himself. Right, but the fools pass on and are punished. Right? Because why? Why the fool pass on are punished? Because the fool lack understanding, the fool, right, didn't have the knowledge of what going and go on. And that is Nate. Nate making his men blind and everybody else who going and fall on and it's but we understand too that is will the most side because two thirds are Israel stiff neck. Alright, but still he he will he will still let them hear this word. And that's going to be their condemnation. Right? Um. Wap, wap. They have seen vanity and lying divination. Saying the Lord said. And the Lord had not sent them. And they have made 
others to hope that they would confirm the word. Right? Have ye not seen a vain vision, and have ye not spoken a lying divination there, as he say, Yah was set it a be it, I have not spoken. Right? So the most I have not spoken to you, Nate. The most I stop speak to you from from the time you you um departed from the truth, the most I stopped talk to you. So long as your heart wasn't perfect towards the most I, the most I about Shem El Shai stopped speaking to you. You're telling your men that did not go in and see the evil. Alright? But anyway, as I was saying, you know, we, we the men of great millstone, we prophesy because the words are the most. The most I give us the words of prophecy. Right? Because he himself, right? Um, He himself do prophesy. Right? Obviously, because he's the prophet master. <laughs> Duh. Right? This is Amos chapter 3 verse 8. Uh, start of verse 7, right? It says, Surely the Lord will do nothing but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. And the men are great millstone. We are the prophets of the Most High. Nate, you ain't no prophet. He's a prophet unto yourself. Because all you're looking for is prophet. Alright? Alright, uh, yeah. At, um, you know, pause the video for a while there. Alright? So yeah, um, as I said, right, um, I read over Amos chapter 3 verse um, 7, right? It says, surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets, right? Which we, the men of great millstone, are the true prophets, are Yahweh, Shem, Shai, the prophets that warn the people, are the, the, the warnings, um, like the time of Jacob, shovel the famine, all right? Um, the ICBM nuclear missiles, the chariots, alright, verse 8, the lion at road, who will not fear, the Lord hath spoken, who can but prophesy, alright, the Lord hath spoken, right, and the most high hath spoken, and we, we, um, we basically eat them words, not neat, right, neat with, in all deceitfulness of the heart, <laughs> But Nate is just a, 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 a evil, evil, evil guy. Alright? Nate is just a evil guy. Um. Bop, bop. Is it? Is it? Is it? Slack, just bit more one second. Right, let me see if I can find that real quick. Right, Jeremiah fifteen sixteen. The imagine I was just there. Right, thy words were found, and I did eat them. And thy word was unto me the joy of, and rejoicing of my heart, for I am called by thy name, O Yahweh of power, O Yahweh power of force. Right, so it says the words, the words that the Messiah were found. All right, going back into um, um Habakkuk, Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1. It says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. I will watch to see what he will say unto me and watch I shall answer when I am reproved. And Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read it. Alright, so yeah, we, we run it. We take in this word and we, we, we read it and we run in and we going out there on the highways and byways lifting up our voice like a trumpet. You know, the scriptures say, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. Right, song the alarm, and that's what we're doing. You don't see Nathan them song in no alarm. Nathan them, 
What, what, uh, where is your fringes? The law. The law. Right? But you teaching somebody law. Shall somebody teach um, thou shall not steal and those and you're stealing? Alright? It says, um, For the vision is yet for a point in time, but at the end it shall speak and not um, lie. Do it tarry wait for it, because it shall surely come. It will not tarry. Right? So yeah, the, the words that the most I know going on tarry need. You going on, you going on be destroyed. And anybody in your camp who, who doesn't return unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Haraka Kodash, going on be destroyed also. Alright, Nate? You, you just, you just being wicked. And the most I, he don't like wicked people. Alright? You and your witchcraft and all kind of madness. Huh? Right? Um, Isaiah 62 and verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace. They know night. Ye that make mention of Yahweh, keep not silence. Alright? So we know holding with peace. A watchman does do what? A watchman does go there on our wall. Or, or will be on his post and watching to see when the enemy coming in. And that will be doing when we're going into prophecies, when we're going into the news. Right? The scripture says measure the time diligently. That is what we're doing. We read the news. You, we are the only one who come out with that information on news. RFID chip. All these kind of things. The economy crashing. All these kind of things. We filter it. You know, through the, through the, through the, um, through the scriptures. The way how we learn it from the elders. The apostles are great millstone. Um, by the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Haraku Akodash. Right? So the men are great millstone are those watchmen. The men are great millstone are the only ones that actually going out there. In who, Those of us who do it in sincerity and truth, you know, hoping that I myself do it in sincerity and truth. Right? Go there to forewarn the people of the evils to come. Taking you people blood off our hands and hoping that the most high see us fit. To, to be safe all right you know with that our clothes want to give all praises on and glory unto yahweh bashem yashai bashem haraka kodash double honors to the elders the apostles of great mercy that surely do well and salutation to all yakim that push this without the instance of the truth that is brother lamar once again from jms shenadad right i say inshallah i'm to the hopefully let keep strong you know bracket up